Hmm. That would be really awesome if I could go live on Instagram, on desktop, while I'm also streaming on Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn or wherever. Guess what? There is a way to do it. it. Took me forever to learn it. Once I did, it was so easy. I couldn't believe it. So I'm going to demo exactly how to stream live on Instagram with StreamYard. You're going to go ahead and set up your live stream first in StreamYard. So the way that it it works is you actually need to set up your Instagram destination as its own individual destination. So you're not really linking up your account to Instagram. So what this is going to look like, you're going to hit the plus symbol, add a new dis- destination. You're going to click Instagram. You're going to go ahead and paste uh, your URL in here. And then after you do that, um, it's added as a destination. And then, and actually, let's see, uh, this is to help you. So it doesn't matter if you put the ad symbol or whatever. So you're just going to put your uh, username there, add Instagram live, and it's going to look like this one right here, live stream. And then we have this one, Insta, the Gold Digger Girl desktop. Okay. So I'm clicking that and then we're going to say demo. So this is the title when we're streaming. This title helps you organize your streams. There's a spot to actually add a a description over on Instagram, which I'll show you. So once you get this far, you're going to need the Instagram stream key. So go to Instagram, be logged in on desktop. You're going to come over to the left sidebar to create. I actually do this right before I go live. um, So you don't have to set this up too far in advance. It's up to you. So click live video and then add your live video details. So we have our title here. Audience, you're going to want to put public or you could do a practice, which is really cool. Click next. Then you are going to grab and I think it said stream key, Instagram stream key. So most likely I'm using StreamYard for this. If there's other tools you're using, they might need the stream URL, but this does not. Also, if you don't know how to stream on Facebook inside of groups, I'll include the link for that below. I have a guide, a tutorial, and a document you'll get with screenshots showing you how to stream in Facebook groups with StreamYard or Zoom. It's really similar for most streaming platforms, so I'm going to include that below this video. So you've copied your Instagram stream key. You're just going to copy and paste it. You click Create Live Stream. enter the studio. (laughs) Okay, here we are. Hello. So you enter the studio. Uh, Portrait mode. Okay, so we set the stream's orientation to portrait for optimal Instagram streaming. So what's really interesting about this? Oh, I know why it's doing this. If you set your stream up with YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn, and that's included with the streams because you can choose multiple destinations, it's going to default to landscape mode. So actually, I can show you, let me show you really quick what I'm talking about. So I, the way we do it is we always multi-stream because if I'm going to go live, I'm going to get my leverage out of it. You know what I'm saying? So let me show you what it looks like. Here it is. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you let it default to that landscape mode. And this is also another example of landscape mode, okay? So what it's saying to me right now is it wants to default to portrait mode, which is the shape of your reels. This is what it's wanting to default to is portrait mode. So if you're only streaming on Instagram, you can go ahead and continue in portrait or you can go to your settings and you can change it in uh, to landscape. So we'll just continue. But this is kind of fun. I've not done this yet. Okay, so you're going to add yourself to the stage. Hello. How funny is this? And it looks like you can invite guests, um, which I've, I've interviewed people this way. So this is a nice way to do your guest interviews where you have a little more control over the look of it. So you'll need to click go live on Instagram after you go live on StreamYard. This is the same with Facebook groups. What you're going to do is you're going to go live in StreamYard first. Now watch what happens. I'm going live. Beautiful thing is I'm not live on StreamYard or I'm not live on Instagram right now. Okay, so this is good. (laughs) So if for a Facebook group or Instagram, you are you're not live yet. The destination is Instagram and we haven't we haven't said yes yet over there. So you're okay. So just give yourself a second, take a breath, go live on StreamYard. It's not really live. Then you come over to your stream right here. What you're looking for is this preview box. If you see this preview box, it has connected. The final step is you're going to click go live. When you click go live, it's, I think it does a three, two, one. So usually what I do is I'll just start kind of chatting. I'll hit go live. 
And then I'll say, hey, guys, Kimberly here. You know, I'll just start talking and do my thing. And it just takes a, a few seconds. Uh, it's three to five second delay, I've noticed, with Instagram and Facebook groups. Now, the final thing you're going to do when you're done, let me go in here right now so that way I can guide you to the right spots. So when you are in your Instagram account, so after you've gone live, so let me tell you how to end it. So you can end it in StreamYard if you want. That will cut the stream on all wherever you're streaming. You can just end it and they're all kind of cut off. Or what you can do is on here, you can click end live and you can end it right here on Instagram. Or for Facebook, there's a spot to end the live there if you're in the group. Okay, so what you're going to do after you're done and you ended it, you're going to go into your settings on Instagram. Let me see if I can show you. This is so funny. Okay, see the little dots in the corner? You're going to go there. And then you're going to go to archive. And you know, if you've gone in there, you know where, so archive is the next button where you can see your story archives. There's actually a button um, where you can choose your live videos. So story archive is what it defaults to. Let me show you. Story archive is what it defaults to at the top. Just hit that drop down and you'll see it right there. Live archive. Okay, so we're going to go to the live archive. Then we're going to find the one that I just did, which it looks like I actually went live. Oh, no, December 31st. That's weird that it's saying that. Maybe it's just, okay, who knows? Hopefully I'm not on, am I on Instagram right now? Hello, everyone, if I am, who knows? Okay, so you're going to click the video. It's processing, but then you would go ahead and share it and you would add it to your profile okay and you can always delete it if you don't want to which i'll probably delete this one if you guys are watching me on instagram who knows I'm doing this for youtube right now and that's what you're going to do so that's exactly the steps that you need to take to be able to live stream from Streamyard onto instagram it really is awesome and you can absolutely add that live video to your grid when you're done or you can archive it or whatever you want to do but it's an awesome way to reach your instagram audience without having multiple devices going on i also have a special gift for you below stop the scroll on social so if you want to learn how to stop the scroll and learn how we've been able to grow our reach to hundreds of thousands every month you got to get that free guide and we actually have our certifications open right now so if you don't know gold digger is a third party accredited all of our certifications are so it's a way for you to be mastered, you know, get that certification, sign of approval that you've mastered that skill set. We have certifications in coaching and high performance, mindset, social media, branding. There are so many different certifications we have. Financial financial leadership. Look below. You'll see the, the page for it. You can browse our certifications. And I'm live teaching a six-week Q&A. So now is the time we only open it once a year. Check that out below. If this was helpful, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any episodes and take a screenshot, throw it in your stories and tag me at the Gold Digger Girl. I would love to give you a shout out for doing that. Until next time, get lit in your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you soon. Bye.